In this video, we're going to work through this question together. It says that a transformer has 600 turns on the primary coil, which is connected to 220 volts, and the voltage and current on the secondary side is 16.13 volts and 5 amps. And now they have four parts. They ask us, what is the number of secondary turns, the primary current, the turns ratio, and the voltage per turn? Well, to start with, I always like to draw myself a quick uh, little transformer diagram just to help me organize the information that I've been given. If after a while you find that it's not necessary, you know, feel free to not draw one. But certainly as you start out with these kinds of calculations, it can be a very handy aid. We are told that the number of turns in the primary coil is 600. We are told that the voltage across the primary coil is 220 volts. We are told that the voltage across the secondary coil is 16.13 volts and that the current through the secondary coil is 5 amps. And they want us to find the number of turns in the secondary coil. They want us to find the current through the primary coil. They also want us to find the turns ratio and the voltage per turn. So let's start by having a look at part A. Alright, so part A we need to find the number of turns. And so therefore we're going to use our transformer equation. You should be very well aware of what this equation says. Uh, the number of turns in the secondary divided by the number of turns in the primary is equal to the voltage across the secondary divided by the voltage across the primary. So if we plug the values that we know into this equation, we find that the number of turns across the secondary or in the secondary coil is equal to 600, uh, sorry, divided by 600 is equal to 16.13 volts divided by 220 volts. The turns ratio is the same as the voltage ratio. Now we can rearrange this equation, multiply both sides of the equation by 600. Uh, remember 600 is a number of turns, it doesn't have a unit, so it's just a number. Every other value in our equation does have a unit. So therefore we can find that the number of turns in the secondary coil is equal to 43.99 and we can round that off to 44 turns. So NS, number of turns in the secondary coil, is equal to 44. We have uh, done the first part of this question. Let's have a look now at the second part of the question. They ask us for the primary current. Now the primary current, we're going to need to use the uh, power equation in order to work that out. We know that the voltage across the primary coil multiplied by the current through the primary coil, if there are no energy losses, will equal to the voltage across the second voltage across the secondary coil multiplied by the current through the secondary coil. We know a couple of things. We know the voltage across the primary coil, 220 volts. We don't know the current through the primary coil. That's what we're trying to calculate. But we do know the voltage across the secondary coil and the current through that secondary coil. So we can rearrange this equation and we will find that the power <clears throat> on the secondary side is equal to 80.65 watts. And if we divide both sides of the equation by 220 volts, we will find that the current through the primary coil is equal to 80.65 watts divided by 220 volts, which when we finalize that calculation, we get 0 0.36659 amps, which we can say is approximately equal to 0 0.37 amps. So the voltage through the primary coil is equal to 0 0.37 amps. Part two has been completed. Let's have a look now at part three. Part three asks us for the turns ratio, and that's very simple. The turns ratio is equal to the number of turns in the secondary coil divided by the number of turns in the primary coil, which we know is equal to 44 divided by 600. And that is a ratio in its simplest form of 11 divided by 150. Now, when you are asked for the turns ratio, 
please be nice and get it down to its simplest form, okay? However, we can write that in another slightly different form. The ratio of the number of turns in the secondary to the number of turns in the primary is equal to 11 to 50. We can, however, also write the ratio the opposite way around. The number of turns in the primary to the number of turns in the secondary is equal to 150 to 11. Now, it matters which way around, uh, or sorry, let me rather say it this way. It doesn't really matter which way around you write the ratio, so long as you tell whomever is reading your work which way around you are writing. Is it secondary to primary, or is it primary to secondary? Let's now have a look at the final part of this question. The voltage per turn. Now, we know that we can uh, use either the primary or the secondary side of the transformer to work this out. We should get the same answer. Now, the voltage per turn is the voltage across the entire coil divided by the number of turns in that coil. And if we were to use the primary coil, well, we'd get 220 volts divided by the 600 turns. And that is equal to 0 0.36667 volts per turn. We can simplify that down, or approximate that rather, to 0 0.37 volts per turn. Let's check, though, that we get the same answer if we were to use the secondary coil values instead. So, using the secondary coil values, we'd get 16.13 volts, that's the voltage across the secondary coil, divided by the number of turns, which is 44. That gives us 0 0.36659 volts per turn. Now, it's not exactly the same as this, because remember, we rounded this value up. Um, but it's pretty much the same because we can also say that it's approximately 0 0.37 volts per turn. Now, when they ask you for the voltage per turn, it doesn't really matter which route you take, either using the primary values or the secondary values, because you will get the same answer in both cases.